This is a residential area of Damascus, a typical suburb. But on Friday, a car bomb exploded here outside a mosque. It's difficult to find out exactly how many people died. There are reports it's more than 40. This video can't be independently verified. Still, the United Nations humanitarian chief has told the Security Council there are two and a half million people in Syria who need help but can't get it. And the agency's appeal for aid has failed. I need the political support of the Security Council members, but also other uh, members of the United Nations, uh, to really make uh, a difference. Months of fighting has destroyed Syria's basic infrastructure, roads, power and sanitation. And that creates another huge problem, the threat of disease. The World Health Organization is warning there could be an outbreak of polio and that more than 20 people may have it already. So the United Nations is increasing its vaccination program. Routine immunization systems so critical to preventing childhood diseases have been disrupted or broken down. Children are now at far higher risk of diseases such as polio and measles. Parents have enough to worry about. But now there's also the possibility children could be struck down by illness and disease. And the chance of getting treatment in the middle of this war is slim. Nicole Johnston, Al Jazeera.